So switching back over, I'm in my IT support project, and we've got a couple of requests that have come into the system. Now I can manage those in a number of different ways. One, we have a automation platform that can automatically prescriptively assign tickets based off workload of my team. So I can basically take to whoever has the fewest number of tickets and prescriptively assign to them. Or I can also route tickets into queues and we can define as many queues as we like to manage those tickets. Think of them as filters for tickets and I can leverage any attribute of those tickets for routing. So that could be by geography. As we see here, I've got some APAC queues, America queues. I can also have tickets based off types of requests coming in, like project intake requests. I can also have VIP users that are elevated to different queues as well. Now for any of these tickets, I can, I can either do mass updates, so I can simply check off a bunch, do a bulk comment, or I can transition those to a specific stage all within this grid, which is a nice capability. Or I can just go into the individual ticket uh, and update from here. Okay. And so what we're looking at right now is a service request within Jira service management. And you'll see this design layout and philosophy carries through with both incidents, problem management, as well as other workflows in the system. So within each ticket, I can see who raised the request, how it was raised, the description of their ticket. We also do a quick search for similar requests to see, hey, do we have a pattern of activity going on with the ability to link those tickets over to this ticket as well. Particularly useful from a incident management perspective, where I can see, do we have a widespread outage that may be affecting multiple people? At the top right of the ticket, I can see my SLA. So we can see I've already blown through a resolution SLA and I can also see my response time SLA. So nice, clear messaging here. For each ticket, it's also going to have its workflow. So this one's currently waiting on customers. So I'm in a pending state. But if I'm curious about what the workflow looks like, we can see multiple next steps or stages for this particular ticket here. But I can also go look at the workflow for this ticket and visually see what are the various paths that this ticket can take to resolution. Now, different request types or incidents or change requests can have their own workflow within the platform. So if you have your own status gates that you want to advance through, your own way that you want these tickets to progress, you can define that easily within the platform. And we'll actually see a bit of that during this demonstration. Now, within each ticket, I can also quickly see who's been assigned to it. I can also have a, a list of request participants or people that are basically watching this particular ticket as it goes through its life cycle. We can also see we did a, we automate each ticket with a knowledge based search. So I can quickly drill through to see is there relevant knowledge content that may help me fulfill this particular request. And I'm actually going to go back out and look at a slightly different ticket real quick. Or I'll take this new notebook request to see a few other details on these requests. So in this particular case, a user has requested a new notebook and the details that they entered in at the self-service portal are all pushed up to the top of the ticket. So another way that we use that tailored experience for different types of requests as they come into the system. In addition to that, as part of the platform, we also include a CMDB. We call it assets within the platform. And as a result of that, one of the things that we do is we do a quick lookup of each user as they submit a request to see, do they already have infrastructure that may help me with troubleshooting an issue? The users often have a hard time remembering the host name of their laptop, for example, or other relevant details. While working this ticket, if I need that information, I can simply just use this down arrow to get a snapshot of that user's laptop. So I can see its life cycle state is currently active. I can see what make and model they have that may be useful. I can also see details like when does their warrant expire, which again may help me make the right course, choose the right course of action over the course of this particular ticket. In addition to seeing those details, I can also go look at an object detail view. And what this will do is basically show me relationships between that target object, in this case, a laptop and other infrastructure. Now, from a service request perspective, not the most useful capability, but from a incident management perspective, this could be huge because it could tell me that, hey, I'm troubleshooting a service that's down and, oh, the switch that the web server's plugged into may be down. This kind of view helps me perform that kind of isolation of issues very quickly.
In addition to that, I can navigate to the other objects to get a snapshot of those, as well as I can also see, are there any open issues reported against any of those objects, or in this case, people? So I can take a quick look to see, can I also resolve those while I'm working on this particular ticket? So a great way to navigate through. Okay. So a lot of information right up front, just from this service request. I also have the ability to go send notes to the customer and uh, throughout the life cycle of this. So I can simply hit reply to customer. I can also do internal notes if I just want to communicate that as well, if we need to go check things internally. So as I go document these notes, I also have the ability to ping other users and basically flag them. Can you, for example, so I can communicate with other teams collaboratively within a ticket simply through writing a comment. Now that's one way I can ping other users. What I can also do is create subtasks for tickets. And this also includes the ability to do templates where I can have onboarding activities that are commonly performed anytime this type of ticket request comes in. So in this case, I can go assign to multiple users and track the status of their subtasks. I also have the ability to go link issues together. As Rod mentioned before, the Jira service management platform is part of the Jira service and Jira software platform as well. So what that means is I may have developers working on the same platform within their own DevOps projects within the system. So I have the ability to go link to either other incidents, other service requests, as well as other work efforts by those developers. So if I did identify a bug, I could go link to a DevOps team and assign them the activity of helping us troubleshoot that bug. Again, definitely useful within a incident context.